Hey guys, it's Catherine and Susie from Southern Girls Makeup and today we're going to be talking about six tips to surviving high school that we found have been really helpful throughout the years since we're going to be seniors and we have been doing this a while so <laughs> let's get started. Um, the first one that I have is don't procrastinate. If you get an assignment that's due like next week, go ahead and start it. Go ahead and knock it out. Get it out of the way. That way you're not stressing about it the night before it's due. And like when your teacher talks about it in class, you're like, oh yes, I've already got it done. It's covered. And it takes away a lot of stress. I was a big procrastinator my freshman and sophomore year. And my junior year, I could not do it anymore. And I felt that it like took so much stress off of me because I wasn't procrastinating. I got all my work done early. I had time to hang out with my friends, go out, have a good time, and I didn't have to like stress about school because everything was already done. So. Yeah, that's a really good one. We had the same English teacher, and I know we'd always talk about all the assignments she'd give us yeah. that were due like three weeks like from the date we got it, but we would both go ahead and jump on them. And then when like the week or a couple of days before they were due, we didn't have to stress about it. We'd go out shopping, hang with friends, and exactly. worry about the, all the other assignments we had, which and were a lot. <laughs> we could turn it in early, and she would be like, oh, thank you so much. Like, it's already done, and, like, we wouldn't even have to worry about it on the day of the assignment. It was just another day. Like, it was like, oh, we already turned that in last week. We're good. So <laughs> it was great. <laughs> Um, my tip, the next tip, is find a solid group of friends. It doesn't have to be, like, ten friends you see in all the, like, high school movies. It could just be a solid group of, like, two or three girls. Because when you're in high school, sometimes people change. People change, and, um, they'll just change to be someone that they're not, even though you've known them for, like, ten years. Um, so... Find a solid group of friends that you can go to football games with, you can do projects with, you can study together, go to Barnes & Noble, get coffee. Um, that's just always a good thing to have because mm -hmm. I know I met Susie through my twin and, you know, I can always go to her for anything. Yeah, so. exactly. We've always been, like, close and um, I've had her and her sister and a few of our, like, other mutual friends that we have in common. We've all just been pretty close throughout the years and... Like, we may not talk, like, every day, but I know that, like, if I ever need something, I could pick up the phone and call them, and they'd be there, so. Yeah. Um, is that all? Yeah. Okay. That's all I have to say. <laughs> um, the third one is learn some good study habits. Um, I'm a horrible studier. I admit I never learned how to study until last <laughs> year, and it's a lifesaver. Like, I had, um, this, one of the hardest classes that my school offers I took last year along with the other cl hardest class that my school offers, so I know I was, like, drowning in schoolwork and I needed to study. And the way I found out for me is a good way to study is set a timer, like, 15 minutes you devote to studying and you, like, put your phone away, you put your computer down, you devote to reading your textbook, and then I get 10 minutes or so to do what I want to do, whether it's, like, watch a YouTube video, watch a little bit of an episode of Netflix, whatever show I'm currently watching. Um, and I found that that works because I just give myself a little break and I, like, reward myself, I guess, and... Another good study habit that I learned is, like, highlighting my textbooks. I know you're not supposed to do that, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but honestly, if I were to get a highlighted textbook, I would be so thankful because it's, like, <laughs> half the work is already done. But um, I'm a person that has to highlight it. I'm, like, touching it. I'm reading it. I'm consciously reading it instead of just, like, reading it and then going back and being like, oh, I have no idea what I just read. I'm, like, consciously aware of what I'm reading. I take notes while I read. I handwrite my own notes. Like, just form good study habits that work for you and how your brain works, and it makes learning so much easier. And when test day comes, you're like, oh, I remember going back and reviewing all of that. So it's it's a great tool to, great tool to have for high school, definitely. Was that anatomy and physiology? Yes, that was anatomy and physiology. Was the hardest class I've ever taken. I'm so I'm taking that. God's God's speed. <laughs> God's speed. Um, um, next, another tip is don't stress about the future. Um, if you don't know what you want to be right now, hey, it's okay. High school was happening. You like declare a major now, or I know our high school is, and it's okay if you don't know what you want to be because most colleges. I went on a college tour yesterday, and they said like half the students freshman students that come into college, their major is undecided. So there's no stress. Usually the first year in college you're taking like your math and your 
uh, English and your history or whatever, and you don't have to focus about what you want to be. But if you do know what you want to be, like I know I want to be some type of nurse, and Susie just kind of switched hers. <laughs> I, I, I go back and forth. I've been back and forth about five times this year, so I mean, don't even stress about yeah, it. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> and don't stress about fitting in either. Hey, you do your own thing. We've done our own thing, and people still like us. So, like, you know, don't don't stress if you, you don't have the same clothes as everybody else, or you don't have pin straight hair. Obviously, I don't. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's your turn. Okay. Um, mine is focus on yourself. Um, take high school to really, like, figure out, like, who you are, what you like, and what you know you don't like, and, like, don't feel the need to, like, do things that your friends are doing just because they're doing it. Just take time to focus on yourself and focus on who you are as a person. And high school is a really time for growing up. I know I'm not the same girl that I was freshman year, sophomore year, but I've grown into, like, my own person. And those years definitely shaped who I am and how I think and how I go about doing things. Um, in freshman year and sophomore years, I was really naive and really young and, like, always believed the best in the world. And I've had things happen that it's, like, that's not always the case. But it, like, shaped me and made me stronger. And I've just, I've learned to love myself and being on my own and being able to do things by myself. Like, I'll just go to eat lunch by myself and, like, have some me time and really reflect on what's been happening in my life and um, everything. And, like, don't get caught up in the silly the silly high school drama because it isn't the end you do go to high school or you do go to college <laughs> after high school and life does move on whether you think it doesn't and it it really does and it, it's okay it's it's okay if your friends decide that they they don't want to do what you're doing anymore like it's okay you can still do it do what makes you happy and don't let other people's unnecessary drama get in the way of like what you like to do and um how it affects your learning because I know if like you have like stress going on in your friendships and relationships it really affects your grades and affects how your your yourself is doing I don't think that was proper grammar but we're gonna move <laughs> past that um but it, it I know it really affects you and so you just need to say you know what that doesn't that doesn't matter to me it's it's okay it's gonna be okay in the end and I'll be stronger because of it so and our last tip is have fun because, hey, you really don't have a choice if you want to be there or not. The like, <laughs> government will come get you if you aren't in high school. Um, yeah, you have to learn. You'll have homework. You'll have tests. But you get to spend, like, seven or eight hours with your class. And you might as well, you know, make some friends, make jokes, have fun. Because that's four years of life. You're not going to just get that back. And, um, you know, you're gonna you're there for what 180 days mm -hmm. so that's that's a long time that's a lo very long time um my phone is ringing i'm gonna go <laughs> i'm gonna go answer that so you can finish this up <laughs> so i i hope you guys like this video and please comment any video ideas you might have make sure you, you subscribe to see all our other videos and be on the lookout for a fashion video and that you'll see both of these outfits that we had on in and also if you have a YouTube channel that you'd like us to check out feel free to leave it down below we love subscribing to all different kinds of channels and hey it's a tough world out there in YouTube so I hope you guys like this video bye